So, good evening, everybody. So, good evening, allerseits. Let's open with prayer. Lass uns mit Gebet anfangen. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can all um, gather here together and that we can uh, look at your word. Und dass du uns mit deinem Heiligen Geist führst und leitest. And that you uh, lead and guide us through the Holy Spirit. Und uns von deiner Wahrheit noch mehr überführst. And that you convict us even more through your truth. Wir danken dir, Herr, dass du alles gelingen lässt. And we thank you that you um, bring everything to pass. Lass du es auch mit der Technik auch alles gelingen. And please work um, that everything would work with the Technik. Sprich du heute zu uns, Herr. Um, speak to us today, Lord. Darum bitten wir, Herr, in Jesu Namen. And we ask for this in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I posted the notes in the group. So I have the notes in the live stream group I posted. And um, don't, uh, no, don't. Um, Get disturbed by the fact that there's like a portion at the margin, okay, in the notes. Like there's like a margin on the side. You don't no. have it? Okay, good. Falls ihr irgendwie einen Rand an den Notizen habt, lasst das euch nicht stören. Ich hab's jedenfalls nicht. Alright, so <coughs> this evening we want to look at the image of the beast test a little bit. So, heute Abend wollen wir das Bild des Tieres Tests etwa anschauen. And these are actually some notes that I put together some time ago. Und diese sind Notizen, die ich vor einiger Zeit zusammengestellt habe. But um, I remember them when Bro Mark shared his thoughts this morning. Aber ich habe mich daran erinnert, während Bro Mark heute Morgen seine Gedanken geteilt hat. Um, and what was the problem about the worship of Cain? Und was war das Problem mit der Anbetung von Kain? His own self strength. Yes, he did it in his own strength, right? Er hat das in eigenen Kraft getan. And he did it in the way that he was, or he, that he thought was right. Er hat das auf der Art, die er am besten dachte. And what we will see now, basically, is that the image of the beast test is the test about this very fact. Und was wir zu sehen werden, ist, dass der Bild des Tieres Tests handelt sich gerade um diese Themen. Uh, it's whether you worship God according to how God prescribes it or how you want to do it in your own strength. Ob du nun Gott anbetest, wie er es vorgegeben hat, oder ob du das in eigenen Kraft machst. And it says, uh, Christ is the Alpha and the Omega, so the Omega test is the same as the Alpha test, right? Und Christus ist der Alpha und Omega, also dieser Omega-Test ist dasselbe wie das Alpha-Test. And the first test where two classes of worshippers were demonstrated was Cain and Abel. Und der erste Test, wo zwei Klassen von Anbetern getestet wurde, ist die von Cain und Abel. So basically there you can already see the DNA for the image of the beast test here at the end of the world. So okay. da können wir bereits der DNA für der Bild des Tieres Tests am Ende der Welt sehen. So, and we'll see this. Und das werden wir sehen. Okay, so let's read the first quote here from 2SM. So, lasst uns in den Notizen diesen ersten Zitat von 2SM lesen. It says, Satan has been persevering and untiring in his efforts to prosecute the work of, uh, that he, sorry, prosecute the work he began in heaven to change the law of God. He has succeeded in making the world believe the theory he presented in heaven before his fall, that the law of God was faulty and needed revising. A large part of the professed Christian church, by their attitude, if not by their words, show that they have accepted the same error. But if in one jot or 
Chittel, the law of God has been changed. Satan has gained on earth that which he could not gain in heaven. He has prepared us to lose the snare, hoping to take captive the church in the world. But not all will be taken in the snare. A line of distinction is being drawn between the children of obedience and the children of disobedience, the loyal and the true, and the disloyal and untrue. Two great parties are developed, the worshippers of the beast in his image and the worshippers of the true and living God. Okay, so here we can see, basically, the image of the beast test will separate the whole world in two groups. So, here can we see in the Bild des Tieres tests that the ganze Welt in two groups teilen. One group is represented by Cain, the other group is represented by Abel. Die eine Gruppe dargestellt durch Cain und der andere durch Abel. Okay. So, yes? Cain brought the fruits of the field, right? All these hasty fruits. Cain hat die Früchte des Feldes als Opfer gebracht und die Frage wurde gestellt, sind die hastige Früchte? I mean, line upon line you can say this, okay. Also, Linie auf Linie konntest du das sagen. Because when you are hasty fruit, what do you offer to God? Wenn, wenn du eine hastige Frucht bist, was bietest du Gott an? Yeah, you offer your, your own works, basically, right? Because bietest deine eigenen Werken an. You don't wait until the power on an high that would fill you up. So. Du wartest nicht auf die Kraft aus der Höhe, der dich füllen wird. It wasn't the fruit that was wrong, the literal fruit that was wrong with Cain's offering. It just, it just wasn't what God asked him to bring. Also es war nichts los an der Frucht, die Kain dargebracht hat. Es war nur nichts das, was Gott gesagt hat, was er da bringen sollte. So if it was nothing wrong with the food, then we, we take this line upon line in our days. No, because it's a different symbol. Symbols can be determined by context. Yes. It was just representing something that he thought looked pleasing to him, so he brought it. But it wasn't what God asked for, and that was the point of the disobedience. He wanted to worship God as he saw fit, basically. He wanted God to be as he saw fit, basically. Yes, but would be correct line upon line because those that go into the cities and do wonderful work, they worship God as they want to worship Him, right? Linie auf Linie wäre es richtig, denn diejenigen, die in die Städte gehen, um diese wunderbare Werke zu tun, how did you? They worship God as they want to worship Him. Also, die beten Gott an so wie sie denken, also im eigenen. Okay. So now, if the image of the beast separates us in two classes of worshippers, we need to understand what the image of the beast is. And when the Bild des Tieres uns in two classes of Anbetern teilt, then we have to Bild des Tieres test. So let's go to the next quote. So gehen wir zur nächsten Zitat. Under the heading, what is the image of the beast? Was ist das Bild des Tieres? But what is the image of uh, to the beast, and how is it to be formed? The image is made by the two-horned beast and is an image to the beast. It is also called an image of the beast. Then to learn what the image is like and how it is to be formed, we must study the characteristics of the image itself, the papacy. The beast itself. Uh, the beast itself, thanks. Uh, the papacy. When the early church became corrupted by departing from the simplicity of the gospel and accepting heathen rites and customs, she lost the spirit and power of God. And in order to control the consciences of the people, she sought the support of the secular power. The result was the papacy, a church that controlled the power of the state and employed it to further her own ends, especially for the punishment of heresy. Okay, <clears throat> so what was the problem with the church? So, was war das Problem mit der Gemeinde, mit der Kirche? Corrupted. Yeah, it became corrupted, right? It's corrupt. It went into apostasy. Yes, it's an and what was the result? And what was the result? It doesn't like when people don't agree with it. Yes, okay. It's magis nix when menschen mit sie nix beinstimmen muss. But what does she say here? What does she say here? It uses power to control the conscience. Yes, but what kind of power? The secular power, right? So, it's benutzt den Staatsmächten, um den Gewissen der Massen zu kontrollieren. But why did they use the secular power? Aber warum haben sie den Staatsmächten benutzt? Don't have any power themselves. Yeah, because God's power left them, right? Weil Gottes Kraft sie verlassen hat. And because they were disobedient, the Lord was no longer with them. Weil sie ungehorsam war, der Herr war nicht mehr mit sie. 
So, and to make up for this lack of power, they now use the state power. Um diese Mangel zu erfüllen, um, zu ersetzen, sie benutzen den Staatskräften. Okay, so let's continue. Müssen wir weiter? In order for the United States to form an image of the beast, the religious power must so control the civil government that the authority of the state will also be employed by the church to accomplish her own ends. Okay, so the image is then the same as the original. Also right? the Bild ist dasselbe wie das Original. Next paragraph. Next absatz. Whenever the church has obtained secular power, she has employed it to punish this, this dissent from her doctrines. Protestant churches that have followed in the steps of Rome by forming alliance with worldly powers have manifested a similar desire to restrict liberty of conscience. An example of this is given in the long continued persecution of dissenters by the Church of England. During the 16th and 17th centuries, thousands of non-confirmist ministers were forced to flee from their churches and many, both of pastors and people, were subjected to fine, imprisonment, torture and martyrdom. The image of the beast represents. Image to the beast. Sorry, the image to the beast, and I see it's. Uh, I forgot the space in here. Okay. okay, the image to the beast represents that form of, of apostate Protestantism, which will be developed when the Protestant churches shall seek the aid of the civil power for the enforcement of their dogmas. The mark of the beast still remains to be defined. Okay. So now let's look at this. So lasst uns this anschauen. So the image to the beast. So what is it? What did we just read? So what is this? Yeah, when we just read the last uh, paragraph again. The image to the beast represents that form of apostate Protestantism which will be de developed when the Protestant churches shall seek the aid of the civil power for the enforcement of their dogmas. Okay. So, under this system here. So, under this system here. What will they do in, to enforce their dogmas? Was werden sie tun, um deren Lehren zu erzwingen? Yeah, they, they use the civil powers. Okay. So, basically enforce religious By using civil power. Dass sie den Zivil möchten, oh, let's say secular. Okay. Because in the quote before she said secular power. Zitat davor hat sie gesagt, also weltlichen Licht. Okay. And when you just now would consider this religious dogmas. Wenn du dies nur in Betracht ziehen würdest, also betrachtest religiöse Gesetze. So, when they want to enforce their religious dogmas, what would the religious dogmas represent, also according to their understanding? Zwingen werden, was werden diese religiöse Gesetze darstellen? Gemäß deren Vorstellung, the law of God. Yeah, the law of God, right? So, God is Gesetz. So, they think this is now the law of God. Also, die mm. glauben, dass ihre religiöse Gesetze sind Gottes Gesetze. And the law of God is, how can you term it differently? Und das Gesetz Gottes, wie kannst du das anders ausdrücken? Yeah, what does the law of God basically tell you? Or, or what is it as an illustration of? Das Gesetz Gottes, was stellt es da? When in Matthew 7, he says, I don't know you, you workers of iniquity. Matthäus 7, er sagt, ich kenne euch nicht, ihr Übeltäter. What was their problem? What didn't they do? 
Was war denn ein Problem? Was haben sie nicht getan? Sie sind Ja. Yes. Sie haben das Gesetz nicht gehört. Was ist das? Let's go to Matthew 7. Gehen wir zu Matthäus 7. It's easier, easier than you think. Die Hände tut. Matthew 7, Vers 21. Matthew 7 und Vers 21. It's probably my question is not so good. So Matthew 7, 21. Matthew 7, 21. Says, not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Okay, so what didn't they do? Was haben sie nicht getan? God's will. God's will, God's right? will. So God's law is God's will. So Gottes Gesetz ist Gottes will. He says, I want you to do this and I don't want you to do that. Ich möchte, right? dass du dies tust und das lässt. So the religious dogmas are nothing else than an illustration of the divine will. So, okay. diese religiöse Gesetze sind nichts anderes als eine Darstellung von der göttlichen Welle. And for instance, they will say, all right, one of our dogmas is you need to worship on Sunday because God wants you to worship on Sunday. Zum okay. Beispiel, eine von ihren religiösen Gesetzen wäre, ist das, ähm, sie wollen, dass du am Sonntag anbetest, weil sie glauben, dass dass Gottes Wille ist, dass du am Sonntag anbetest. Okay. So, so the religious dogmas illustrate the divine will. So, religiöse Gesetze stellen der göttliche Wille dar. And the secular powers, und diese weltliche Kräften, what do they illustrate? Was stellen sie dar? The arm of God. What is that? Yeah. Okay. So this is divine will, right? So, this is göttliche Wille. But they use what kind of instrument to enforce now the divine will? Aber was für ein Werkzeug benutzen sie, um diese göttliche Wille auszuführen? Oh. Yes, but what kind of force? Human. Human, so, yes. Force. Human, right? So, menschliche Kraft. So this is human power or strength. You want to say it. Okay. Menschliche Stärke oder Kraft. So they use human strength to enforce the divine will. Okay. So menschliche Stärke, um den göttlichen Wille auszuführen. So and this is basically <coughs> some kind of false combination of humanity and divinity. Okay. This is so eine falsche Verbindung zwischen Menschlichkeit und Göttlichkeit. Okay. Now we call the, for example. The police is like the what extends the the will of the law, yeah, and they say that this is the arm of the law. So would we not say that this is the arm of God? The secular well, what they were saying, the secular powers, they would say that's the arm of the law. That's the arm of God. It does the will. Yeah, I mean, in some sense, they might be able to say this. Maybe you know, they want to. Yeah. But I just want to look at the underlying principles, right? This is illustrating the divine will and the secular powers illustrating human strength. Right? Ich möchte nur diese unterschwelligen Prinzipien hier anschauen. Also das stellt der göttliche Wille und die stellt menschliche Stärke dar. So basically the, the underlying principle of the image to the beast is enforcing the divine will by using human strength, right? So der grundsätzliche Prinzip von der Bild zum Tier ist es, dass die der göttliche Wille be benutzt, ähm, die göttliche Wille umsetzt, indem dass sie den weltlichen Mächten benutzt. Ja, using human strength. Weltlichen Mächten benutzt. Ja, menschlichen Kräften. That's important. I want to make this point. I want to illustrate just the underlying principle of this. Ich möchte nur diesen okay. Prinzip da darstellen. So they use, they enforce the divine will by using human strength. Die erzwingen der göttliche Wille, indem das die menschliche Kräften baut. So, okay. Because this is something that we need to see also elsewhere. Okay. 
This is eine Sache, die wir anderswo erkennen müssen. And where, where do we always need to look into? Gottes Wort. Yes, okay. Und wo müssen wir immer hineinschauen? Where do we always need to look into? In our hearts. Yes, in our own hearts, in right? Herzen. Because what happens externally is just an illustration of what happens Intern. internally or even in your own heart. Right? Das, was extern stattfindet, ist nur eine Darstellung von das, was intern stattfindet oder sogar in deinem eigenen Herz. So when the Lord loses the four winds here at the close of probation, so when the Herr here the four winds at the close of the Gnadenzeit loslässt, what does Sister White say? What does it illustrate? Was sagt Ellen White? Was stellt es da? Human passions. Yeah, all the human passions will be loosed. Right? All die menschlichen Leidenschaften werden losgelassen. In your heart, right? In deinem Herz. So, and if your heart is now fully unrestrained, this will then manifest also. <coughs> in the nations, right? Because nations are just a collective, it is, um, or just a collection of individuals. Und wenn dein Herz ähm, völlig ungezögelt ist, denn das wird sich auch in die Nationen widerspiegeln. Denn die Nation ist nur eine Kollektiv von Einzelpersonen. Okay. So, everybody can follow so far. Kann jeder so weit folgen? Then let's continue. Because I want to now show you an illustration of this image uh, to the beast in your personal life. Ich möchte jetzt ein Beispiel von diesem Bild des Tieres in deine persönliche Leben zeigen. Where you just in, can see this illustration here. Wo du diese Darstellung erkennen kannst. So let's read this. Let's just listen. During the meetings at Orebo. I was urged by the Spirit of the Lord to present His law as the great standard of righteousness and to warn our people against the modern counterfeit sanctification which has its origin in will worship rather than in submission to the will of God. So what kind of sanctification here? So what's for Heiligung here? Modern counterfeit, modern counterfeit yeah. sanctification. So, moderne falsche Heiligung. And what is the problem with this sanctification? And what is the problem with it? And so it has, it has its origin in will worship. Okay. And not in submission to God. So go to your Bibles, please. And go to Colossians chapter 3, because, uh, uh, chapter 2, sorry. This is where Paul speaks about will worship. Colossa 2. Da spricht Paulus über Willensanbetung. Okay, let's read verses 18 to 23. It says, Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshipping of angels, intruding into the, those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment ministered, and knit together increases with the increase of God. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are, the, are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of man, which things have indeed a show of wisdom in will worship, and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Okay, so Paul was speaking here about a certain class that practiced this will, will worship. So Paulus sprach hier über eine gewisse Gruppe, die diese Willensanbetung praktiziert. And it's also interesting, these were actually the, these Essenes. Okay. Das war auch interessant, dass die waren diese Essene. Uh, they, they were the ones that worshipped these angels and they tried with these different commandments of man uh, to work out their own righteousness. Die haben diese Engel angeboten und die haben versucht, durch verschiedene Gebote von Menschen ihre eigenen Gerechtigkeit zu erarbeiten. Okay. 
And what were they worshiping? What does he say here? Und was beteten sie an? Was sagt es hier? Will worship, right? Willens anbeten. So they were worshiping their own will. So die haben ihre eigenen Wille angebetet. But in the court, Sister White says, the opposite of will worship is submitting to God. God. Aber in der Zitat, Ellen White sagt, das Gegenteil von Willensanbetung ist Gott zu unterwerfen. Das sagt nicht, die meine Wille getan, soll getan werden, sondern deine. Okay, but who has a little bit of an understanding of these scenes? What did they do? Aber wer hat ähm, Einsicht über diese Szene? Was haben sie getan? Uh, we, we covered this some time ago in this also class. Vor okay. einiger Zeit haben wir diese angesprochen. But we can just maybe see a little bit here when uh, when you just read here. In Vers 18 it says they have voluntary humility. In Vers 18 es sagt, dass sie freiwillige Demut haben. And then let's uh, read verse 21 to 23 again. So 21 bis 23 lesen. So they say, touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men. So they thought basically, you are not to touch certain things, you are not to eat certain things. Sie haben gelehrt, dass du gewisse Sachen nicht anrühren solltest oder essen solltest. Or to use, you should not use certain things. Oder gewisse Sachen sollst du keinen Gebrauch von haben. But not according to what God says, but according to the commandments of men. Also nicht gemäß, was Gott sagt, sondern gemäß äh, die Gebote von Menschen. And then it goes on to say, Und es sagt weiter, Which things have indeed a show of wisdom and will worship and humility and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. So, They were neglecting the, the body. Okay. Die haben den Körper vernachlässigt. So, they were basically uh, trying everything to do in their own strength. So, sie haben versucht, alles im eigenen Kraft zu tun. Yeah, they, they were fasting very much. So, die haben öfters gefastet. Yeah, they were trying to separate themselves from all unclean item they thought it was unclean. Okay. Sie haben versucht, sich von alles, was unrein ist, zu trennen. Uh, and they were basically yeah, doing it in own strength. Okay. Die haben all das im eigenen Kraft ähm, getan. Okay, so and not according to God's word, but according to the commandments of man. Und nicht gemäß das Wort Gottes, sondern die Gebote Menschen. Okay, so will worship is therefore something you do in your own strength, where you, you know, exercise your own willpower to perform things. So, Willensanbetung ist irgendetwas, was du in eigenen Kraft tust, wo du deinen eigenen Wille einsetzt, um Sachen zu erreichen. Because when we go to Philippians chapter 2, denn wenn wir zu Philippa Kapitel 2 gehen, in Vers 13, Vers 13, Philippians 2, Vers 13, Philippa 2, Vers 13, It says, for it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So who, who is the one who should work in us the will and the do? So, wer ist es, der das um, wollen und das vollbringen in uns wirken soll? God, right? God. But when can he only do, do these things to us? Aber wann kann er nur diese Sachen um, in uns tun? Subjected our will to yeah, when we surrendered our will to him. Right? But then the court says they rather worship their own will than to surrender their will to God's will. Aber in der Zitat es sagt, sie haben bevorzugt ihre eigenen Wille anzubeten anstelle ihre Wille Gott zu unterordnen. And therefore they cannot do something in God's strength. They will always do it in own strength. Okay. Deswegen können sie nichts irgendetwas in Gottes Kraft tun. Die werden es immer im eigenen Kraft tun. And when we go back to the first illustration of these two classes. Cain was an illustration of human strength. Wenn wir zu dieser erste Darstellung und diese zwei Klassen zurückgehen, kein war eine Darstellung vom eigenen Kraft. He did it in his own will, in his own strength. Er hat es im eigenen Wille, im eigenen Kraft getan. Okay, so let's go back to the quote. So gehen wir zurück zur Zitat. So this modern uh, counterfeit sanctification with, with which has its origin in will worship rather than in submission to the will of God, this error is fast flooding the world and as God's witnesses we shall be called to bear a decided testimony against it. 
It is one of the various delusions of the last days and will prove a temptation to all who believe present truth. Okay, so what can you expect, brothers and sisters? So, was können wir erwarten, liebe Geschwister? Yeah, that, that we will be confronted with this very temptation. Right? And with a false sanctification which has its origin in world worship. So mit einer falschen Heiligung, der seine Ursprung in Willensanbetung hat. Yeah, where people don't show you or don't lead you to the point where you then would surrender to the Lord, but they basically say you should go in your own strength. Okay. Die Menschen, die ich nicht zeigen oder führen zu dem Punkt, wo du deinen Willen Gott unterordnest, sondern sie sagen eher, dass du im eigenen Kraft gehen sollst. Yeah, they might not say it literally. Okay. Sie mögen das vielleicht nicht direkt also, heraus so but sagen. By their teachings. Okay. Aber durch das, was sie lehren, sagen sie es ähm, unterschwellig damit. And what doctrine is definitely a doctrine telling you to go forward in your own strength? <laughs> Und welche Lehre ist auf jeden Fall eine Lehre, der sagt, dass du im eigenen Kraft vorangehst? Public evangelism. Yes, public evangelism. So. Öffentliche Evangelisation. Before the time appointed, right? Vor der bestimmten Zeit. When you, when you reject the tearing time, that's the doctrine that tells you to go forward in your own willpower. Die, die Verzögerungszeit verwirfst oder ablehnst, das ist auf jeden Fall eine Lehre, der dir sagt, dass du vorangehen sollst im eigenen Kraft. And has this been ever since the temptation in this movement? Und hast, ist gerade diese Sache eine fortwährende Versuchung in dieser Bewegung gewesen. Always. Yes. Ja, scheint immer. Okay, and let's just read the last two sentences here. Und lasst uns die letzten zwei Sätze hier lesen. It says, those who have not their faith firmly established upon the word of God will be misled. And the saddest part of it all is that so few who are deceived by this error will ever find their way to the light again. Okay, so once you are deceived by this doctrine, it's almost impossible for you to return. So, es sagt hier, wenn du eins verführt bist durch diese Lehre, es ist fast unmöglich, davon zurückzukehren. And up to now, almost, this, almost none really came out of this. Und Absolutely. bislang, okay. es gibt keiner, der da rausgekommen ist. Fast keiner, yeah. der da rausgekommen ist. So, and you can see really how deceptive these things are. Und wir können sehen, wie verführerisch diese Sachen sind. Okay, but the point I want to make is, uh, this will worship is basically the same same principle okay because you try to exercise the divine will in your own life using your own strength okay. and you think it's now God's will uh, to do this and this and you don't surrender your will to God but you do it in your own strength okay. Zeit ist, dies oder jenes zu tun und du ähm, bringst deine Wille nicht in der Unterordnung zu Gott, sondern tust es in eigenen Kraft. So basically it's just the same illustration of what is taking place outside in the image of the beast. So es ist dasselbe Darstellung inwendig von das, was in der Bild des Tieres Tests äußerlich ähm, stattfindet. Yeah, because you try to enforce the divine will with the human strength. Versucht das göttliche Wille mit menschlichen Kraft zu erzwingen. Okay. Everybody can follow. Can you follow? Yeah. Okay. So now let's continue. Let's go to the next quote. Wir zur nächsten Zitat. It says, There have always been men and women who profess the truth, who have not conformed their lives to its sanctifying influence. So they were not really under the true sanctification. Right? wahrhaftig unter der wahre Heiligung. Yeah, so therefore they were under this false counterfeit sanctification. Und sie unter dieser falsche Heiligung. And the false sanctification leads you to will worship, right? Diese falsche Heiligung führt zur Willensanbetung. Men who are unfaithful yet deceiving themselves and encouraging themselves in sin. Unbelief is seen in their life, their deportment and character. And this terrible evil acts as does a canker. Would all professed Christians use the investigative powers to see what evils needed to be corrected in themselves instead of ta talking of others' wrongs, there would be a more healthy condition in the church today. Some will be honest when it costs nothing, but when policy will pay best, honesty is forgotten. 
Honesty and policy will not work together in the same mind. In time, either policy will be expelled, and truth and honesty reign supreme, or, if policy is cherished, honesty will be forgotten. They are never in agreement. They have nothing in common. One is the prophet of Baal, the other is the true prophet of God. Okay, so she speaks now about here honesty versus policy. She spricht here um, über Ehrlichkeit gegenüber policy, politik. No. Yeah. Handlungsweise. Yeah. Human rules. Yeah. Menschengesetze. Yeah. Yes, you can see. It's difficult to translate into German, but Handlungsweisen und menschliche Human Reasoning and yeah. Rules. Yes. Apply to it. Menschliche Regeln. Okay. So, and it says here, some will be honest when it costs nothing, but when policy will pay best, honesty is forgotten. Sagt es, einige werden ehrlich sein, wenn es ihnen nicht kostet, aber wenn menschliche Handlungsweise so das beste Ergebnis gibt, dann wird Ehrlichkeit vergessen werden. And who are these some in the context? Und wer sind diese einige in diesem Zusammenhang? Of the first paragraph. In diesem ersten Absatz hier. First Christians. Yeah, those that were not <coughs> under the true sanctifying influence, right? So, die Christen, die nicht so unter der wahre heiligende Einfluss stehen. Yeah. So therefore, there, there are those Christians that are under this false sanctification. Das heißt yeah. denn, es sind diese Christen, die sind unter diese falsche Heiligungs. Uh, who leads to will worship. Okay. Das führt zu so those that are under this false sanctification, they are the ones that will also then choose policy over honesty. Okay. So <coughs> let's look up now here policy. I mean, because it's difficult to explain it in German, I uh, put down the, uh, the definition here from Webster's Dictionary. So, this um, Auslegung von diesem englischen Wort policy, also so menschliche Handlungsweise, ist eben schwierig in Deutsch zu übersetzen. Also, wir haben hier die um, Auslegung von der Webster's Wörterbuch hier. And it basically says here, policy in its primary signification is the same as polity, Comprehending the fundamental constitution or frame of civil government in a state or kingdom. But by usage, policy is now more generally used to denote what is included under legislation and administration and maybe define the art or manner of governing a nation or that system of measures which the sovereign of a country adopts and pursues as best adapted to the interests of the nation. Thus we speak of domestic policy or the system of internal reg regulations in a nation foreign policy or the measures which respect foreign nations, commercial policy or the measures which respect commerce. But also, uh, one second please, yeah, but also you have nowadays the wor uh, word business policy or, uh, or company policy or even here in this ministry we have some kind of policy. Okay. Also, es gibt auch um, Geschäftsregeln, ja, einfach mal, oder auch um, uh, auch hier in der Ministry gibt es gewisse Regeln, die wir anwenden. Yeah, it's, it's basically just rules that would govern your conduct. You say, if this happens, we will act in such and such way. Es sind okay. eben Regeln, die unsere Handlungsweise regieren. Wir sagen, vielleicht, wenn dies geschieht, dann handeln wir auf diese Art, zum okay. Beispiel. And there, there's worldly policy that would then tell you, all right, when this happens, you should act such and such, but it's not based upon God's word. Okay. Es gibt weltliche Handlungsweise oder Policy, die, wenn sowas passiert, dann musst du auf so eine Art und Weise darauf reagieren, aber diese Reagierensweise ist nicht basierend auf Gottes Wort. Okay. Okay. The church's policy on the vaccination, they should all be vaccinated because it's for the good and benefit of mankind. It's a also worldly die, policy. Die uh, Einstellung von der Gemeinde, also Policy, die Einstellung von der Gemeinde ist, dass jeder geimpft werden sollte, weil es ist so allgemeine Wohl der Welt sein. Aber das ist immer eine weltliche Einstellung und nicht seine göttliche. But it breaks principle. Und yes. es, es bricht Prinzipien und deswegen ist es eben falsch. Exactly. 
because um, maybe you can just quickly skip the next quote and just go to this quote under the header never employ worldly policy. Yes, that's also good. Oh, good. Yes. Also, poli policy is auch Richtlinie. Yes, exactly. Okay, so let's uh, jump down to the next uh, header. Never employ worldly policy. So also please skip the next die nächsten quote. Zitat und dann kommen wir zu diesem Übertitel, dass weltliche Richtlinien äh, sollte nicht <lacht> verglichen werden mit ja, gutem Unterscheidungsvermögen. Ich weiß nicht, wie es in den Deutsch geschrieben ist. Worldly policy is not no, the no. same. This, this, under the header, never employ worldly policy. Ach so. Mm -hmm. uh, unter der Titel, setz nie weltliche Richtlinien an. Okay. So it's um, okay. Everybody has it. Right. It says never forsake the true standard, even though to cling to it makes you a beggar. beggar. Okay. So never give up God's principles, even if it makes you a beggar. So gib Gottes Prinzipien nie auf, selbst wenn du da zur Armut getrieben wirst. God has set up a high standard of righteousness. He has made a plain distinction between human and divine wisdom. All who work on Christ's side must work to save, not to destroy. Worldly policy is not to become the policy of the servants of God. Divine authority is to be acknowledged. So here she clearly says, uh, don't employ worldly policy even if it costs you everything. So here sagt sag sie, dass du nichts weltliche Richtlinien einsetzen solltest, selbst wenn es dir alles kosten soll. In Ist nichts zu tun. Go back now to the quote we skipped. So, gehen wir zurück zu diesem Zitat, die wir übersprungen haben. Under the heading, the spirit of worldly policy defined. Der Titel, der Geist von weltlichen Richtlinien erklärt. It says, the policy which worldly businessmen adopt is not the policy to be chosen and carried out by the men who are connected with our institutions. Selfish policy is not heaven-born, it is earthly. In this world, the leading maxim is, the end justifies the means. And this may be traced in every department of business. So what is the ultimate foundation on which worldly policy rests. So, was ist der Fundament, auf dem weltliche Richtlinien ruhen? The goal they're trying to reach. Yes. So, der Ziel. The end justifies the means. Also, der okay. Ziel rechtfertigt den Weg, diesen Ziel zu erreichen. And who had this, who has the same policy as same. this? Und wer hat denselben uh, Richtlinien wie diese? Yeah, the Jesuits, right? The this, is, this is why it says in the Great Controversy, that's their policy. Okay. So only, uh, they say, to further the Catholic religion, that's the, the end or the goal. So um den katholischen Religionen zu fördern, das ist letztendlich der Ziel. And in order to achieve this goal, you are permitted to do everything. Und um diesen Ziel erreichen zu können, alles ist erlaubt. And this is the, the worldly wisdom. Und dies ist diese weltliche Weisheit. Okay, so let's continue. Lasst uns fortsetzen. It has a controlling influence in every class of society, in the grand councils of nations, and wherever the spirit of Christ is not the ruling principle. Prudence and caution, tact and skill, should be cultivated by everyone who is connected with the office of publication, and by those who serve in our college and sanatorium. But the laws of justice and righteousness must not be set aside, and the principle must not prevail that each one is to make his particular branch of the work a success, regardless of other branches. The interests of all should be closely guarded, to see that no one's rights are invaded. In the world, the god of traffic is too often the god of fraud. But it must not be thus with those who are dealing with the Lord's work. The worldly stun standard is not to be the standard of those who are connected with sacred things. Yeah, so, if you employ worldly policy, you, it's no problem to commit fraud. Okay. Also, wenn du weltliche Richtlinien 
äh, ein Selbst für dich ist es doch kein Problem, betrügerisch zu sein. It's just the normal way of things. Right? Das ist nur der Norm. So wird es eben getan. Next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. I say the church manual is a, an example of worldly policy yes. because it's narrow in its use and they used this to, to disfellowship people from the church but they broke so many principles by using it. Yes. Also der Gemeindehandbuch ist ein Beispiel von weltlichen Richtlinien und äh, die benutzen das zum Beispiel um Menschen von der Gemeinde auszuschließen, aber sie brechen so viele Prinzipien damit. Exactly. Uh, so they, they use something worldly, right? Sie benutzen was Weltliches. Uh, in order to enforce this divine will. Um okay. uh, der göttliche Wille zu erzwingen. Yeah, so basically they, it's all those that are under this false sanctification, they will always use worldly policy. Okay. Das ist diejenigen, all diejenigen, die unter dieser falschen Heiligung stehen, die werden immer diese weltliche Richtlinien benutzen. Und wenn du unter dieser Kraft false sanctification, you basically always do this will worship. You always try to enforce the divine will with your own strength. Okay. Wenn du unter falscher Heiligung bist, dann im Grunde begehst du diese Willensanbetung. Du versuchst Gottes Wille zu erzwingen im eigenen Kraft. Yeah, that's the image of the beast. Das ist das Bild des Tieres. In its principle. Yeah. Im Grundsatz. That you want to achieve the divine will with worldly methods. Dass du die göttliche Wille erzwingen möchtest durch weltliche Methoden. So, <coughs> next paragraph. Nächster Absatz. When the scenes of the judgment were brought before me, and also what does it say? Who will worship the beast? In was Revelation 13. In Offenbarung 13. Wer wird der Tier oh. anbeten? Und uh, das ist yes. uh, Revelation 13, let's go there quickly. Gehen wir da hin, Offenbarung 13. Und dann Vers 8. Es sagt, Und alle, die auf der Erde sind, whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. So when you're not written in the book of life, you will worship the image of the beast. Okay. So, wenn du nicht im Buch des Lebens geschrieben bist, du wirst das Bild des Tieres anbeten. Because this principle is naturally in you. Weil okay. dieses Prinzip ist von, ja, von Natur hier in uns. Uh, because if you're not written in the book of life, you don't have the divine strength in order to do the divine will. Okay. Denn wenn dein Name nicht im Buch des Lebens geschrieben ist, dann hast du nicht die göttliche Kraft, um die göttliche Wille auszuführen. So the only thing that's left is your own strength. Okay. Das Einzige, was denn da übrig bleibt, ist dein eigenen Kraft. And that's why it will divide the whole world into these two classes. Und okay. deswegen wird es die ganze Welt in diese zwei Klassen trennen. And you can be sure, therefore, that when you stand in court, there won't be any justice. Und deswegen konntet ihr sicher sein, dass wenn ihr ins Gericht, weltlichen Gericht steht, es wird keine Gerechtigkeit geben. Because they will employ worldly policy. Weil sie werden, sie werden weltlichen Richtlinien anwenden. And therefore they say the end justifies the means. Und deswegen, mm. ihr Grundsatz ist, das Ende rechtfertigt ähm, den Weg, diese Ende zu erreichen. Oder die Mittel. Was? Das Ende rechtfertigt die Mittel. Zweckheiligt. Oder zweckteiligt die Mittel. Yes. Den Zweck heiligt den Mittel. Yes. Okay. Next uh, paragraph. Next absatz. When the scenes of the judgment were brought before me, the books in which are registered the deeds of men revealed the fact that the dealings of some of the professing godliness, of those professing godliness in our institutions, were after the worldling standard, not in strict accordance with God's great standard of righteousness. The relation of men in their deal with one another especially those connected with the work of God, was open to me quite fully. I saw that there should be no, be no close, sharp deal between brethren who represent important institutions, different perhaps in character, but branches of the same work. A noble, generous, Christ-like spirit should ever be maintained by them. The spirit of avarice should have no place in their transactions. 
God's cause should not be advanced by any action on their part contrary to the spirit and character of Christ. A selfish manner of dealing in one will in one will provoke the same disposition in others. But the manifestation of liberality in the true courtesy will awaken the same spirit in return and would please our Heavenly Father. Okay, so we can see here that um, uh, this is what the Lord will bring into judgment. So we can see that this is what the Herr ins Gericht bringen wird. Um, okay, let's also just read the next paragraph. Worldly policy is not to be classed with sound discretion, although it's too often mistaken for it. It is a species of selfishness in whatever cause it is exercised. Discretion and sound judgment are never narrow in their workings. The mind that is guided by them has comprehensive ideas and does not become narrowed down to one object. It looks at things from every point of view. But worldly, uh, worldly policy has a short range of vision. It can see the object nearest at hand, but fails to discover those at a distance. It is never watching for ever. it's ever watching for opportunities to gain advantage. Those who follow a course of worldly policy are building themselves up by pulling out the foundation from another man's building. Every structure must be built upon a right foundation in order to stand. So, it's like a canker, she said at the beginning. This is wie ein um, Krebsgeschwür. Krebsgeschwür. Uh, in the sense that it draws from others and basically exploits others. In dem Sinne, dass es von anderen zehrt. Christ said, why do you disobey the commandments of God by your traditions? This yes. was the exact point. Exactly. So, said, warum brecht ihr die Gebote Gottes durch eure Tradition? Because das ich. What they have done is they have failed to understand the deep meaning of God's law, and therefore they added and added and added all these rules, and they were policies that were narrow yes. and could never accommodate God's law in its depth. And this is exactly what it does. It's policy. It's, it's human policy. It takes the place of God's law. Yes, exactly. Sie haben Gottes Gesetz nicht verstanden und deswegen haben sie diese Richtlinien da hinzugefügt. Und, äh, why, why do you obey the commandments of God by your traditions? Yeah. I, I said that already. The point is the traditions are their own policies. Also diese Tradition, das sind ihre eigenen Richtlinien. Yes. And uh, in Matthew 15, that's basically what you're referring to. This is also in the notes a little bit later, but... Matthäus 15, und dann nehmen wir mal Bezug. Das ist in den Notizen später, aber wir können jetzt da hin. Yeah, let's just jump down. It's when you just put on a little bit in the notes. Matthew 15, verse 7 to 9. Matthäus 15, die Verse 7 bis 9. Das ist auch in den Notizen. It says, ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, this people draweth nigh unto me with their mouth, and honoureth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. So here they were basically then employing their policy. So here have they their worldly rules. Okay, now let's go to the next quote under the heading Judas and Policy. Then we go to the next quote under the title Judas and und richten. Everybody there? Jeder da. It says, The love of money in the heart of Judas was growing with the exercise of his shrewd, shrewd. shrewd. shrewd abilities. His practical, his practical financiering ability, if exercised and enlightened and molded by the Holy Spirit, would have been of great service to the little church. And by the sanctification of his spirit, he would have had a clear insight, a correct discernment to appreciate heavenly things. But worldly policy plans were constantly cherished by Judas. So, what was he cherishing? So, was hat er gehegt? Worldly policy. Weltliche Richtlinie. So, he had this image of the beast in his heart, this false 
sanctification. Und dieses Bild des Tieres im Herzen, diese falsche Heiligung. And he was a will worshiper. Er war ein Willensanbeter. There was no outbreaking sin on his part, but his sharp scheming, the selfish, parsimonious spirit that took possession of him, finally led him to sell his Lord for a small sum of money. So if we cherish worldly policy, the result is written here. So when we weltliche Richtlinien hegen, the resultat is here niedergeschrieben. And we will crucify Christ. We werden Christus kreuzen. And for a small sum of worldly gain. Für eine ja, eine kleine Vorteil im weltlichen Sinne. Next quote. Nächster Zitat. This speaks now about uh, the Pharisees. Und das hier spricht über die Pharisäer. And we will see again the same principle here of this image of the beast. Und wir werden wieder denselben Prinzipien hier erkennen vom Bild des Tieres. This the effort to earn salvation by one's own works. That's Cain. Also er spricht über Kain. Inevitably leads men to pile up human exactions as a barrier against sin. So whenever you try to obey God in your own strength. So wenn immer du versuchst Gott in der eigenen Kraft zu gehorchen. And when you try to do the divine will through human strength. Wenn du versuchst der göttliche Wille in menschlichen Kräften zu tun. Says inevitably leads men to pile up human exactions as a barrier against sin. So and this is what the Pharisees did, right? All das these different die commandments. Pharisäern taten all diese verschiedenen. Uh, you can only befehlen. write three words on the Sabbath. Du darfst nur drei Worte am Sabbat schreiben zum Beispiel. You cannot switch the light and all these things. Du kannst den Licht nicht anmachen. Try and try to bring all this in here. Remember and I was like, no. Not yes. happening. So einige haben versucht diese ungerechten Regeln hier hineinzubringen. Und another rule, nicht gehabt. And then another rule, and another rule says, Ein enough. Regel nach dem anderen und es reicht. Yes. What, what did we say this morning? How are we to govern ourselves? So, was haben wir heute Morgen gesagt? Wie sollten wir uns regieren? Self-government. Self-government. Right? Uh, selbst um, regieren. Yes. by the spirit of all the principles. Yes. None of those things will arise. So, wenn du vom Geist geführt bist und du lebst nach den Prinzipien, dann wird nichts von diesem Unsinn aufkommen. So, we should always try or understand that we are responsible before God individually. <coughs> also, wir sollen immer verstehen äh, oder versuchen zu verstehen, dass wir vor Gott als Einzelperson äh, verantwortlich sind. And therefore, we need to govern ourselves, make sure that we follow every principle. Und deswegen müssen wir uns ähm, selbst regieren und sicherstellen, dass wir jede Prinzipien selbst befolgen. And when a brother or sister comes to you and reproves you and shows you kindly, meekly, this is not the right principle that you follow. Und wenn ein Bruder oder eine Schwester zu dir kommt und zeigt dir ähm, auf liebevolle und demütige Art und Weise, dass das nicht äh, eine richtige Prinzip ist, die du befolgst. Then it's obviously your own responsibility to make sure to, to test this. Und dann ist es deine eigenen Verantwortung, dass du dies denn prüfst. Because you need to make sure in your self-government that you follow the divine will. Und dann in deine Selbstregierung, du musst sicherstellen, dass du die göttliche Wille befolgst. Not in your own strength, but in God's strength. Nicht mm -hmm. in eigenen Kraft, sondern in die Kraft Gottes. Okay, next, uh, let's continue. Dann wissen wir weiter. For seeing that they fail to keep the law, They will devise rules and regulations of their own to force themselves to, to obey. So here we can see they, they now force, they enforce the divine will through human strength. Right? Here comes to say that they zwing, um, they force, force, they basically, they don't like they somebody's bad habits, so they say? make a rule, they, they, they force them. They force now um, through human strength to do the divine will. Also, sie erzwingen durch menschliche Kraft das göttliche Wille zu tun. Just yeah. stop sinning, said Paul Minder. Yes, Paul Minder said, yeah. Yes, but that, that, okay, that's just an expression, but this is the point where somebody doesn't like what somebody's doing, and no matter how much they tell them, they keep doing it, so they make a rule to try and force them, rather than allow the Holy Spirit to work through them. Also, jemand, 
sagt jemand anderem irgendetwas Falsches und die aber beharren in diese falschen Sachen und es kommt zu dem Punkt, wo sie eine Regel aufbringen, um zu versuchen, sie zu erzwingen, das zu machen, anstelle, dass sie erlauben, dass den Heiligen Geist durch sie wirkt. Yes. So we need to over and over again uh, speak to one another, even though it might never seem to change. Okay. So, wir müssen immer und immer wieder miteinander reden, selbst wenn die Sache scheint so, als wenn es nicht sich, als wenn es sich nichts verändert. And we need to pray for one another. Und wir müssen füreinander beten. And keep and, praying. And keep praying. Und beharrlich werden im Gebet. And if this person really doesn't want to change, und wenn diese Person wahrlich nicht verändern möchte, then there will come a time where this person will be shaken out. It's just as simple as this. Wird okay. der Zeit kommen, wo diese Person hinausgesichtet wird. Es ist mm. so einfach. Uh, but after this time, we should not force somebody, but always try to labor, labor with them. Okay. Aber bis zu diesem Punkt hin, wir müssen versuchen, nicht den Menschen zu erzwingen, sondern einfach sanftmütig mit sie weiterhin zu arbeiten. Okay, let's continue. Lasst uns weiter. All this turns the mind away from God to self. And obviously in this laboring, there's also Matthew 18, right? Und auch natürlich in diesen weiterhin für Menschen arbeiten, es gibt dieses Prinzip von Matthäus 18. Es gibt auch Sünden, die ähm, behandelt werden müssen, äh, die schlussendlich zur ähm, Ausschließung führen kann. Aber yeah. uh, besides this, yeah, we should always not make rules to force the people. Aber, um, dies ausgenommen, wir sollten nicht Regeln machen, um den Menschen zu erzwingen. It says, all this turns the mind away from God to self. His love dies out of the heart and with it perishes love for his fellow man. A system of human invention with its multitudinous exactions will, will lead its advocates to judge all who come short of the prescribed human standard. The atmosphere of selfish and narrow criticism stifles the noble and generous emotions and causes men to become self-centered judges and petty spies. And so that's the result. This is the result. So if you make these human laws and people don't obey the human laws, then you will judge them based upon a human standard. Wenn wir menschliche Regeln machen und die Menschen diese menschliche Regeln nicht halten, dann werden wir sie richten gemäß ein menschlicher Standard. And that's basically also part of the worldly policy. Und das ist ein Teil von diesem weltlichen Weg, diesen weltlichen Richtlinien. And this is all those that are not under the true sanctifying influence. Und das okay. ist all diejenigen, die nicht so unter dieser wahre Heiligungseinfluss stehen. So they will tend to do these things. Okay. Sie werden eher tendieren, diese Sachen zu tun. Next uh, paragraph. Nächster Absatz. The Pharisees were of this class. They came forth from their religious services not humbled with a sense of their own weakness, not grateful for the great privileges that God had given them. They came forth filled with spiritual pride, and the th their theme was myself, my feelings, my knowledge, my ways. Their own attainments became the standard by which they judged others. Putting on the robes of self-dignity, They mounted the judgment seat to criticize and condemn. The people partook largely of the same spirit, intruding upon the province of conscience and judging one, another's, one another in matters that lay between the soul and God. Okay, so when you partake of the spirit, what are you then eventually led to do? So, when you teil an diesen Geist nimmst, zu was wirst du schlussendlich geführt? Yourself a judge. Yeah, you know, start intrude somebody else's conscience, right? So, du fängst an, auf jemand anders Gewissen einzureden. Intruding, einzureden? I don't know how to say that. Also, in the... the du oh, ja, zwingen. Ja, genau. Sorry? Einzudringen. Einzudringen. Yes. Okay. So, basically, if somebody is... Yeah, when you make a human standard and somebody is not convicted by this, or is actually even... 
conscientiously opposed to this. Okay, wenn du einem menschlichen äh, Gesetz oder Regeln machst und jemand dem nicht hält oder sogar äh, rebelliert dagegen, yeah, then uh, you try to enforce this upon this person, you mm -hmm. basically intrude their conscience. Wenn du versuchst das auf diesen Person zu erzwingen, dann dringst du auf ihre Gewissen ein. And this is what is done in the image of the beast. Okay, das image to the beast. Das ist das, was in diesem Bild des Tieres oder Bild zum Tier gemacht wird. And they will try to force your conscience. Sie werden okay. versuchen, dein Gewissen zu erzwingen. Zu zwingen. Okay. okay. So there's a difference here. The rule can be according to God's will. So it is still bad to force it. Yes. But they're forcing you to, to break God's law, which is... Yeah, I mean, but here, this same illustration, they also do human laws and try to force them upon you, right? But it's true, even you can even use the truth, uh, the true divine will, and if you force this upon somebody else, it's all still wrong. You can but then the right thing, so God's law, is a good principle, but when you force it, it's still wrong. Yes. Okay, now let's uh, just... Read the rest of this paragraph. This is the rest, the rest dieses Absatzes lesen. It was in reference to this spirit and practice that Jesus said, Judge not, that ye be not judged. That is, do not set yourself up as a standard. Do not make your opinions, your views of duty, your interpretation of scripture, a criterion for others in your heart, sorry, a criterion for others and in your heart, condemn them if they do not come up to your ideal. Do not criticize others, conjecturing as to their motives and passing judgment upon them. Okay, so this is what we should never do. So, das sollten wir nicht tun. All right, let's read this last uh, paragraph for today from GC 4.3.4. So, lass uns diese nächste Absatz lesen, diese letzte für heute. It says, it was apostasy that led the early church to seek the aid of the civil government, and this prepared the way for the development of the papacy, the beast. Said Paul, there shall come a falling away, and that man of sin be revealed. So apostasy in the church will prepare for the way, for the image to the beast. So therefore, what always will lead to this kind of principle or spirit? So, was ist es, was immer zu dieser Art von Prinzip oder Geist führen wird? Turning away from God's principles. Yes. So, an yeah, apostasy, tr so turning away from his truth. Abfall, okay. an so therefore it should not surprise us when those that leave the truth, they will manifest these things. Okay? And therefore we, we need to guard our own hearts against these things. Because we are all guilty of these things. Okay? Uh, wir sind alle diese Sachen schuldig. But we need to search and understand these principles and then we can look in our own heart. Okay? Uh, wir müssen forschen und diesen Prinzipien erst erkennen und verstehen und dann unsere eigenen Herzen prüfen danach. Mm -hmm. Then we can be sure that we are under the right sanctifying influence, that we don't do this world worship and employing worldly policy. Und dann sicher, dass wir unter der richtige Heiligungseinfluss stehen und dass wir nicht äh, diese weltliche Richtlinien einsetzen und Willensanbetung betreiben. And try to force our own human standards on other people. Und versuchen unsere eigenen menschliche Standarte auf anderen zu erzwingen. Amen. Amen. Okay. So then any question left? Also mal schreiben. Then let's take these thoughts and close for this evening. Lass uns diese Gedanken mitnehmen.